Can you find the English grammar mistakes in these sentences? From EspressoEnglish.net In today's lesson, you'll get to test your English grammar skills. Can you find the mistakes in the following sentences? Try to find the mistake, and then in a few seconds, I'll tell you the answer and give you the explanation. Let's try it. Number one. Here's the incorrect sentence. We cleaned all the kitchen while our parents were out to dinner. Can you find the error? It's incorrect to say all the kitchen. The correct sentence is we cleaned the whole kitchen or the entire kitchen while our parents were out to dinner. We use the word all for plural nouns, like all the students, and for uncountable nouns, like all the furniture. But we don't use all for singular nouns, like kitchen. When you want to talk about 100% of one thing, use the whole or the entire, the whole kitchen or the entire kitchen. Number two, here's the incorrect sentence. If I'm stressed out about something, I tend to have problem to fall asleep. Can you find the mistake? It's incorrect to say, I tend to have problem to fall asleep. It just doesn't sound natural. Instead, you should say, I tend to have trouble falling asleep, or I tend to have a hard time falling asleep. We don't usually use a verb after problem. If you want to talk about the difficult action, use trouble or a hard time, and then the ing form of the verb. That's why we say, I have trouble falling asleep or I have a hard time falling asleep. Both of those sound more natural than I have problem to fall asleep. Number three. Here's the incorrect sentence. One of the most important issue is the lack of parking spaces at the local mall. Can you find the mistake? It's incorrect to say one of the most important issue. The correct way is one of the most important issues. Issues is plural. Whenever you use the expression one of, the noun must be plural, but the verb must be singular. For example, one of my friends is sick. One of these eggs was rotten. The subject is one, so that's why the verb is singular. But you are talking about one of many things, one of my friends, or one of these eggs, so the noun, friends, and eggs must be plural. Number four. Here's the incorrect sentence. If you don't mind, I'd prefer leave early tomorrow. Can you find the mistake? It's incorrect to say I'd prefer leave. The correct way is I'd prefer to leave or I'd prefer leaving. Another correct way to say it is I'd rather leave. After the word prefer, use to plus the verb, or the ing form. After the word rather, you can use the base form. But you can't use the base form after prefer, so we need to say, I'd prefer to leave, or I'd prefer leaving. Don't say, I'd prefer leave. Number five. Here's the incorrect sentence. 
Do you have a few minutes to discuss about this project? Can you find the mistake? It's incorrect to say discuss about. The word discuss is the same as talk about. Therefore, it's not necessary to use about after discuss. So, the correct sentence says, Do you have a few minutes to discuss this project? Or, to talk about this project? But don't say discuss about. It's not necessary. Number six. Here's the incorrect sentence. The survey we performed recently showed that most of customers are satisfied. Can you find the mistake? It's incorrect to say most of customers. The correct way is most of the customers or most of our customers, or most customers. After most of, then you need to have an article like the, most of the customers, or a possessive like my, his, our, etc., most of our customers. However, if you use only most without of, then you don't need anything and you can go straight to the noun. Most customers, most people, most houses. But it's incorrect to say most of customers. Again, you either need to remove the word of or add the word the. Number seven. Here's the incorrect sentence. Although I've known him for a while, I still can't believe how much stubborn he is. Can you find the mistake? It's incorrect to say how much stubborn. The correct way is how stubborn. Before adjectives like stubborn, we use only how. For example, how friendly, how cold, how expensive. Those are all adjectives. We use how much and how many with nouns, objects, places, or people. For example, how much money, how many friends, how much snow. Because stubborn is an adjective, a descriptive word, we use only how, how stubborn, and not how much. Number eight. Here's the incorrect sentence. This is a very simple procedure. It will take less of 10 minutes. Can you find the mistake? It's incorrect to say less of 10 minutes. The correct form is less than 10 minutes. When comparing two things, we use the word then. For example, the city is bigger than the town. A bike is less expensive than a car. This procedure will take less than 10 minutes. Number 9. Here's the incorrect sentence. I've loved classical music ever since I was child. Can you find the mistake? It's incorrect to say, I was child. Instead, you should say, I was a child, or I was young. When using an adjective like young, you don't need an article. You can say, I was hungry, I'm tired, etc. But when using a noun, like child, then you need an article. I was a child. I was a manager. I'm a sports fan, etc. Number 10. 
Here's the incorrect sentence. Would you like to take part of this activity? Can you find the mistake? It's incorrect to say, take part of this activity. The correct way is, take part in this activity. If you take part of something, it means you literally remove a piece of it. For example, he took part of the bread and dipped it in the soup. But the expression take part in means to participate. For example, I took part in the chess tournament. This question is asking if the person would like to participate in the activity. So we need to say take part in this activity, not take part of. Some English students are really afraid to make mistakes, but I think mistakes are a good thing. Why? Because you can learn from them. Making mistakes is a natural part of the learning process, and when you get corrected, you are more likely to remember the right way to say it. If you'd like me to correct your written English, then sign up for my Advanced English Grammar course. Every lesson has a writing task where you can send me your text and I'll send you feedback. Click on the link in the video for more information about this course.